Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. This culture values power, doesn't it? Politicians vie for it. Business people scramble to get it. People get stepped on, pushed aside, and hurt on the way to grab power. Maybe you've been stuck in that mad dash for power at some point in your life, or know someone who has. Jesus said he didn't want his followers to be like that. Instead, he emphasized humility and servitude. He said he had all authority and power and he would give it to us when the time was right. He would work through us. The book of Acts shows this power of the Holy Spirit as he filled believers, first in Jerusalem, then in Samaria, and later all over the known world. He proved his power over leaders, governments, demons, mobs, and everything else. One great example of power is evident in Acts 8. When the apostles, Peter and John, laid hands on the new believers of Samaria, and they received the Holy Spirit. One man in particular watched this closely, Simon the Magician. When Philip first came to town, Simon was the big man in town, doing magic tricks to awe the people. Of course, like all magicians, he knew his tricks had logical explanations. But Philip started doing real things, like casting out demons and healing the paralyzed and lame. Simon's tricks got oohs and ahs from the crowd, but Philip brought something different, joy. Then Philip started preaching and people started believing. Even Simon believed. But what drew him wasn't the truth of the scriptures, but the amazing things that Philip did. When Peter and John came down from Jerusalem and started laying hands on the believers, they received the Holy Spirit. Simon's eyes got wider and wider. What power they had, real power. He eagerly approached Peter and John and offered them money to teach him how to do these things. They had something he wanted, and he was prepared to pay for it. What he actually got was a sharp rebuke. Peter told him, Your money perish with you because you thought that the gift of God could be purchased with money. You have neither part nor portion in this matter, for your heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent, therefore, of this your wickedness, and pray, God, if perhaps the thought of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity. There's been a debate on whether or not Simon was a Christian. It says he believed back in verse 13. But just believing in your head isn't enough to be saved. The Bible says even the devils believe and tremble. Even Satan knows that Jesus is alive. He believes, but he's not submissive to the Lord at all. He doesn't obey him or allow him to rule over him. And as we see from what the Holy Spirit disclosed to Peter, neither did Simon. From extra-biblical resources, we know that Simon continued his magician witchcraft activities until his death trying to fly in Rome. He became rather famous and is called the father of Gnosticism, which is a belief that Paul and his counterparts had to deal with later. So what can we learn from Simon? First, we need to check our heart motives. His heart was full of bitterness and iniquity. How can we make sure that our heart is right? We can ask ourselves, am I submitting to Jesus in this situation? Do I want what I want because he wants it or because I want to look good? Also, when we realize that our heart isn't right, we should immediately turn to God in repentance and get our heart right. That's what Peter urged Simon to do. But Simon seemed only to want to avoid the consequences of his sin. He didn't want to change. But change is what Christianity is all about. God wants to change us to be more like Jesus. Are you moldable? What's in your heart that needs to be changed today? Will you let him do that? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. 
Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.